Here's a game that should have been put in the vaults a long time ago. Mickey's Magical Quest. An absolutely splendid platformer during the peak of the SNES's reign, Mickey is out to save Pluto from the evil Emperor Pete, who, if you remember the last time we ran into him, was shooting knives out of his eyes. So the game was made by Capcom, and thus there were some serious similarities between other famous Capcom games. The biggest one was the ability to change your power, thus like Mega Man. You also saw the Mega Buster, and even a little Bionic Commando. Goofy gives Mickey a questionable outfit, Mickey says, Yay! I mean, yay! And Goofy uncomfortably moonwalks away. Enemies small and large are out to take a bite out of Mickey's ass. Arr! Some are even invisible. Wait, that's, that's not right. There's supposed to be a giant spider there. You know what? This is where having a giant game collection comes in handy. Game Boy Advance! See? I knew it! Game must have got old or something. Now, the GBA version isn't as nice graphically, but it did have something the Super Nintendo did not. A save feature, which definitely comes in handy because if you don't know what you're doing, it could take a solid two hours to get through this game. But with that being said, this is definitely a game that is straight up fun to play, and it won't seem like that long at all. There's so many great things about this game. Magical Quest makes me miss 2D platformers so much.